Hi guys, this is how I export my VX1 footage to HD. Alright. Um, now what I always do is put a deinterlacing de filter uh, over all the videos, all the clips. Um, now when you export it, just um, export it as you would normally. And yep, just save it as whatever it, you're going to save it as. Um, so when you've exported it, open up QuickTime Player 7. Uh, so the, the footage is still in, in SD. Um, now, what you do is you go File, Export. And this is where the uh, we change it to HD. Um, with QuickTime 7, you need the pro uh, the pro version of it. So you're gonna have to go get a registration key and all that sort of stuff for it. Find it somewhere. Um, yeah. So what you do is you export, go to export uh, options. Now yeah, this is where it all happens. Um, Compression type H.264. Uh, use the current frame rate. Uh, restrict the kilobytes per second to 10,976. Or if you want the file size smaller, divide that in half. But I find that's the best size to do it. Um, I keep the, qu the quality high because that. Um, if it's at best, it's, you know, I just like it at high. It keeps the quality pretty good, pretty decent just for YouTube. Um, encoding, keep it at best quality, multi-pass. Um, size. Now, I use the 720. Um, make sure you you click the de the video source. Uh, so you don't get all the lines running through it. And just go OK. And save it to whatever you want. And go save. Yeah, it's already saved it. And then once you've saved it, it'll render it. And you will get the HD version of it and I will chuck that up at the end of the clip and yeah and that's all you have to do um, any questions just comment um, yeah alrighty see ya